हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मैरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता सो टुडे वी गोना टॉक अबाउट एस टी एस शिप टू शिप ट्रांसफर इन टुडे वीडियो विल सी वेयर द एस टी एस इज एप्लीकेबल एंड वेयर द एस टी एस इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल आफ्टर दैट वील सी वट इज द एस टी एस ऑपरेशन प्लान एंड वट नोटिफिकेशन यू शूड नीड टू सेंड वेन यू आर कैरिंग आउट द एस टी एस आफ्टर दैट वील सी वट प्रिपरेशन यू शूड टेक वेन यू आर कंडक्टिंग एस टी एस एंड देन वील सी वॉट आर द प्रिपेटरी स्टेप फॉर द एस टी एस आफ्टर दैट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एनएक्स वन अंटार्टिक एरिया कार कैरेज ऑफ ऑल रिक्वायरमेंट सो फ्रेंड दिस वीडियो इज गोन बी इंटरेस्टिंग आफ्टर वॉचिंग द वीडियो यू विल हैव अ क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एस टी एस द क्वेश्चन विच आर आस्क इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू विल गेट ऑल द एंसर हेयर सो प्लीज टू इंटर लास्ट आई गारंटी यू विल लर्न अलॉट फ्रेंड मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म विच मेक वीडियो लाइक दिस which will be beneficial for examination purpose and your for separate service so please do subscribe and please do share if you want to enjoy exclusive perk you can join the membership please click on the join button so let's start the today video of a sts ship to ship transfer so ship to ship transfer is applicable as per regulation 40 of annex marpol 7371 so in annex 1 of marpol 7378 it is mentioned in regulation 40 it is applicable to the all oil tanker which are greater than 150 gt and above need to maintain the sts rules and regulation if they are engaged in sts operation so their application is 150 gt and above which are engaged in the sts operation so what is sts so sts is an ship to ship transfer means from one ship to the other ship we are transferring the cargo okay and we are not taking shelter in a, a port it means in a anchor area or while en route means both the ship are moving and we are transferring the cargo so if such type of operation is taking place this operation are called ship to ship transfer so these application have got advantage that it eliminate the large port charges and it help to transfer the cargo from one ship to the other ship without any much of hassle but it require certain precaution it require certain design criteria it require certain prevention so that are mentioned in a sts plan so the question comes in the mind that where the sts will not be applicable so it will not be applicable for a fpso means floating production storage and offloading facility is not applicable for sts floating storage unit is not to follow sts offshore storage are not to follow the sts for bunkering operation sts need not to be done if you if you are carrying out ship to ship transfer for bunkering operation then you don't need to follow the sts plan for a safety of a ship or saving a life at sea for combating specific pollution incident or involving a war ship or a ship operated by the state it means that the sts operation plans notification all are applicable when you are carrying out the transfer of cargo in a larger quantity okay now the sts regulation 41 talks about operation plan annex 1 regulation 41 talks about operation plan of sts so basically this operation plan need to be mentioned in a working language of a ship so normally the working language can be english spanish french five language are mentioned in the imo that five language need to be in one of that the working language should be written in the ship after that the sts operation record should be written at least for a period of 3 year now whenever you are carrying out the sts in that case you need to inform your port authority means if you are carrying out the sts within the exclusive economic zone it means that 200 nautical mile away from the land in that case you need to inform the your coastal authority 
now suppose this is a land okay and you are carrying out this ship to ship transfer operation and suppose this is the 200 nautical mile okay this is the e e z so this is the e z and if you are carrying the sts operation within this e z area which is basically 200 nautical mile in that case you need to inform coastal authority how much hour before at least 48 hour before in this information what you need to provide you need to provide what is the name of a ship what is the flag what is the call sign and what is the IMO number after that what is the date what is the time and what is the geographical location after that where you are going to conduct an anchor or whether you will be conducting en route or underway what type of oil you are transferring what quantity you are transferring what is the duration of transfer means total time period will take of transfer and what are the identification of the STS operation service provider or person and confirmation that where STS operation plan is on board or not so now what is main concern is that that whether you are following the STS operation plan or not so this information you are providing so that which ships are involved that information is given and what cargo is been transferred but whether you are following the STS operation plan or not that is the main motive of this whole notification so why it is so important so basically the STS operation plan contain whether the ship staff which are carrying out the STS operation are adequately trained or not so STS operation plan makes sure that ship staff which are working on board are provided with the adequate training of the STS transfer operation there is proper equipment on board through which the STS operation can be carried out. After that, their pre-planning of the operation are fully conducted and the type of cargo which is been carried is known to all the person. After that, proper attention and proper safety is been taken during the transfer and also they are considering what will be a preview, what will be a list, what will every all the thing of the stability is considered and after that you have taken the permission from the relevant authority so as you can see these type of detailed information these type of detailed things are mentioned in a STS operation plan so the authority are mainly concerned that whether you are following the STS operation plan or not after that what are the required preparatory steps for conducting STS operation plan so when you are taking the preparation of STS so you should make sure that what cargo you are going to transfer you have you should have a msds and you should have a, the un number you should know that which type of communication you are going to take in which channel there will be applicability for both the ship after that a proper communication should be established after that you should know what are the danger means whether the cargo is acidic alkaline corrosive you should know and whether it is reactive to air or whether it is reactive to the environment you should know and accordingly you should take precaution after that you should have a firefighting or oil spill equipment should be always in a readiness condition during the cargo operation and all the guideline is mentioned in the MEPC 59 of Marpol Annex 1 chapter 8 so friend now you know that in the STS operation what precaution you need to take what is mentioned in the STS operation plan and what notification information you need to provide in the STS and what is 1141 and 40 now let's talk about one more thing is basically that in Antarctic area there is a special requirement as per annex one it says that if the carriage of bulk as a cargo or use as a fuel is prohibited in the Antarctic area means you cannot carry bulk as a cargo or as a fuel if your crude oil is having a density greater than 900 meter cube it means that if the oil is having a density at 50 degrees celsius more than 900 kg per meter cube in that case you cannot take if the oil is other than crude oil and again its density is greater than 900 kg per meter cube at a density of 50 degrees celsius you cannot take bitumen tar and the emulsion are prohibited after that this means the ship trading in the area 
whether passenger and cargo ship would need to switch to a different type of fuel when transiting to the Antarctic area as defined as the sea area south of latitude 60s. It means that you cannot burn crude oil or bitumen or heavy oil in the Antarctic area. So these are provided in a ship. But an exception is provided if you are carrying out a search and rescue operation in that case it may you can do it. So friend I hope by watching this video you have a clear concept of STS and you have a clear concept of the thing type of thing which I carried in Antarctic area. If you watch it till now, I know that you want to pass the exam very clearly and swiftly. So I urge all of you, please take the membership, will enjoy a lot of benefit. Friend, have a good day.